it is the greatest quick fix of all times. I'm not talking about matches. Today's episode is the future of oil. <laughs> I'm in Stavanger, the oil capital of Norway, and uh, this here is the Norwegian Petroleum Museum, a must if you're ever in Stavanger. So as more and more people around the world wish for a future with less carbon emission and uh, maybe even a fossil free future, it's also important to remind ourselves of all the good things in life, many of them taken for granted today. Uh, that is a direct result of oil and natural gas. The story of oil is also the story of the modern industrial era and the main force behind economic growth. And this museum is uh, not only impressive with all the exhibitions about technology and the industry, uh, but also an important reminder of how life actually was before oil. In the 50 years since uh, Norway first found oil, they have recovered oil and gas worth more than 1 trillion US dollars. And of course this is what we see when we come here, this high standard of living. It's amazing when you think about it. The whole world runs on this energy of fossils, animals and plants that were dead for hundreds of millions of years. But just like any old quick fix, we now know that it doesn't work in the long run. The consequences of burning fossil fuels will force us to try harder and come up with new sustainable solutions. Anyhow, the long-term scenario is kind of easy to predict, even though we, we don't know anything about the timing, of course. Um, after all, oil is a commodity, fighting against renewables. Um, that's technology. We know two things about technology. It will become uh, cheaper and more efficient with time. So it's only a matter of time before no one can afford to, to use fossil fuels as the main source of energy. And that means that the future of oil is in a museum. What do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And um, if you want more, hit subscribe. I'll see you in the future.